Big Dream Journey, Five Elements Mountain. Journey to the West is the name of a very popular Chinese novel. It's one of the pillars of Asian literature that serves as an endless source of inspiration for cinematographers. Journey to the West has been brought to the screen a ridiculous number of times. New films about the Monkey King, Sun Wukong, keep coming out like clockwork, as cinematographers are finding new ways to reinvent the key character of the novel. With the rise of online cinema in China, the frenzy around Journey to the West took a new spin. In 2020 alone, China saw more than 10 feature films based on the iconic novel. Five Elements Mountain is based on the part of the novel that cinematographers like best. Their story goes like this. Sun Wukong, who was previously banished from the heaven for rebellion and imprisoned under Five Elements Mountain, reluctantly agrees to accompany a monk named Tang Sang on his journey to the west. In the film, Sun Wukong is liberated by a boy named Tian Wei. The monkey king can't wait to return home. But first, he'll have to go to a couple of places and defeat a few monsters, realizing his true vocation along the way. If you never heard about Journey to the West and have no idea who the Monkey King is, watching Five Elements Mountain is a good way to start your acquaintance with the story. But a really interesting paradox about this movie is that it has all chances to appeal not only to rookies, but also to hardcore fans that know the story in and out and saw its numerous adaptations. While portraying the main stages of Song Wukong's journey, the filmmakers experimented with minor details and added a dash of humor and romance that made it an organic part of the narrative. Of course there are Chinese filmmakers that have already done that, and with way better outcomes. Let's take Stephen Chow, for example, that brought Journey to the West to the screen not once but twice. In the middle of the 90s, he filmed a two-part movie, A Chinese Odyssey, that continues to make the list of the best Hong Kong movies of all time. Then, in the early 2010s, Chow released Journey to the West, Conquering the Demons. In the film, the Monkey King was portrayed not just as a lost soul, but as a true demon, evil, treacherous, and merciless. Five Elements Mountain portrays Song Wukong in a more conventional way, as a constantly dissatisfied egoist that only thinks of himself. To be reborn, he'll have to overcome numerous trials that will bring him grief and loss. Determined to attract new fans, the movie tells Song Wukong's adventures in a rather detailed way. At the same time, the narration is captivating enough to appeal to those who have heard the story a million times. As befits a Chinese online project, Five Elements Mountain is a vibrant and dynamic movie with tons of special effects, robbery, but overall good makeup and striking action scenes. And Malaysian actor Chang Jingzi, who plays the lead role, is unrecognizable under the monkey mask. He masterfully uses his body language and delivers a very convincing performance. On top of that, there's an Easter egg for the keen fans of classic Chinese films. The Mong, Tang Seng, who appears on the screen at the very end of the movie, is played by Chi Chong Rui. Chong Rui already portrayed the Mong in the 1986 TV series Journey to the West, that has a special place in the hearts of all Chinese cinema lovers.